here I am in the entertainer in Bishop Stalkford and look at this, they've got the premium Fast and Furious models, £3.50. So that's the Motor City Muscle series, so I shall be grabbing some of these, definitely, that's a cool one. Definitely go for that one. That's a pretty nice one as well. And the Ford F50. 150. This is, of course, the more you buy, the more you save. So we have that one, that's a cool one, the Nova. Very nice. You can pick up the whole set here GNX. That's very nice. And of course that one, the, the Torino. So, so we have, I'm trying to get the whole set together here, we have two there. We have the two there. Fifth one there, whole set, three pounds fifty. It's half price. So yeah, happy days. Very much so. Yes. Yeah, so uh, Christmas really has come early this year. I was in Smith's Toys in Harlow yesterday afternoon, and I managed to find a Hot Wheels Boulevard model. I have never seen any Boulevard models in the uh, UK shops until now, and this is the first one in my collection. Very nice one, the 1970 Custom Chevy Nova, or Custom 70 Chevy Nova, I should say. Uh, looking really nice in a kind of uh, metallic apple green. This is not a new model, I think it's been in Boulevard before, but um, it's it does look really nice in this colour with the, with the white stripes across the, the bonnet and the boot, and some, some grills on the boot, on the bonnet, I should say. Uh, rear spoiler. Some tampo printing on the back there, very wide boots and flared arches to go with them, and some tampo printing on the front there with the SS logo in the middle of the grille. So yeah, slam, slam to the deck this one, looking great. Very nice, nice artwork on these as well, these boulevards. This is number 65, so they... they, they each model is number one upwards in this series, so we're up to number 65. And as, as I say, none have appeared in the UK so far. Let's see what else is in this mix. So there's a 2016 Mustang, 1970 Rover P6 Group 2 race car, which is a very interesting. I presume that's the 3500 V8 version. Um, that one's going to be very popular with UK collectors, I should imagine. There's a 2016 Subaru Impreza, uh, something called the Aero Sculpt, which looks like a streamliner, and of course the uh, the Nova. So nice little set. I should be keeping my eyes peeled for these uh, when I go into Smiths in the, over the next few weeks. Hopefully they have some more in. So yeah, nice model, nice uh, nice start to the uh, to the video. I was also in. Smith's Toys in Bishop Stortford yesterday afternoon, as you saw in the video, and they are currently doing the Fast and Furious Motor City Muscle series, half price, £3.50, which is incredible value. Uh, I think it's probably even cheaper than, than, than in the States. So, yeah, this is a beautiful one to start off with, the 1961 Chevy Impala. Really nice model, looks gorgeous in that red with the white stripe along the side. Uh, the Soon be the sort of early 60s or 60s alloy wheels and the Craigar mags there. I think they're Craigars. Craigars. Very nice. The uh, rear tempo printed lights. The grill work has been picked out in sort of a black wash with the white headlights and a little badge there, even with the red and blue Chevrolet sort of performance uh, logo. Very, very nice. Beautiful model, this one. Really cool. 
and looks great with the packaging as well. I think these are sourced in Hong Kong. Looking at this uh, import sticker here. Um, they appear to be on American cards. The um, the model there that's featured in the package is, is uh, has, has a larger image. Unfortunately, the import sticker has um, covered up the rest of the cars. But um, so these look like to be they're they're in U.S. packaging and sourced in Hong Kong, which maybe means they've got a, a sort of they bought a bulk deal, which is why they are a bit cheaper. But um, yeah, very nice, beautiful model. That I really like that one. There's also I picked up the '66 Chevy Nova. And that, uh, the artwork on this one I think is particularly nice. That looks gorgeous. The nighttime scene there. Yep, this model looks great in, in the metallic gold. The same Craig Arm mags there, which really look good on these 60s muscle cars. Uh, some nice tempo printing on the rear, along the side, and on the grille again. And yeah, really nice in the... Uh, Metallic gold paint really suits the model. Yeah, it's lovely that one. I also managed to get the the eighty seven Buick Grand National GNX, which uh, in fact was the last, pretty much the last American muscle car. Uh, I think this, these cars are particularly underrated. Very powerful turbocharged six-cylinder engine and they're very sought after now hence uh, their appearance in the Fast and Furious films so yeah nice uh, tempo printing at the front there rather sinister looking all black model there with black wheels uh, rear tempo printing I think this is a new casting for the the uh, Motor City Muscle series so uh, I've got I've got it in white. I think the black looks a lot better though. Black wheels. Uh, that's a very cool model. That one. Very nice. The last one I grabbed yesterday was the Ford F one hundred and fifty Lightning truck. Again, I think this was this was also new for the Motor City Muscle set. Very nice. Again, we have the usual tempo printing at the front and the rear. I think this was a shop truck in the film. Uh, new, again, as I say, new for this series. Um, we've seen it in mainline, although this is, this is a slightly different casting. They've managed to make a better job of the truck bed there, the flat bed at the back. Uh, this one has a proper sort of in black, black plastic insert there, whereas the... The mainline one has a rather sort of um, half-hearted affair with a bit of metal and a bit of black plastic. But that looks a lot better, I think. Which you'd expect from a premium model. A little bit more effort. But yeah, very nice that one. Very cool. Very nice. And in fact, that wasn't the first time I saw... Fast and Furious models in uh, the Entertainer for £3.50. I was there a couple of weeks ago and I found this lone one. This is the last one left from the Fast and Furious Eurofast set. So clearly they'd had another a delivery of this, this particular set in and they'd all sold apart from the Aston Martin DB5, which, um, which is pretty good because this one I haven't got. I've got a couple from this series, but not the Aston Martin. So yeah, it worked out well for me. Again, nice uh, tempo printing, nice detailing. A very nice little model. So yeah, hopefully Smiths will keep on with these uh, bargain Fast and Furious premium cars. Uh, if they do, uh, I shall report back to you. So I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I shall catch you in the next one. And in the meantime, of course, happy hunting.